In this video, we're gonna be mixing it up a bit. We're gonna be going over the new top five Modern Warfare 2 guns to use right now in Modern Warfare 3 if you're looking to drastically improve your KD ratio and drop your first MGB nuke. So if this sounds interesting to you, if you want to simulate with any and all best class setups as well as settings, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and those post notifications. Let's get into it. Now, for the first weapon, we're taking a look at the M13B. This is ironically one of the best weapons in Warzone, and it is dominant here in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Now, for the first attach, we actually are going to be starting off with the stock, and we are going to be rocking that Bruin R90 factory to bump up overall recoil control as well as handling at closer ranges with that increased sprint speed. Very nice attachment here. For the optic, I highly recommend you guys going ahead and rocking the Mark the Reflector. This is going to be a fantastic attachment on the M13, allowing you to use it at any and all ranges. Now, we're skipping over the lasers. These are completely irrelevant, but we are going to rock a barrel, and the 14-inch Bruin Echelon barrel is going to be phenomenal, jacking up that recoil control making sure you can go full auto across the map without having any issues now for the muzzle we are going to be rocking the vt7 spirit fire suppressor you're going to see this attachment on a lot of my classes this is going to be taking us off the radar and also giving us that long range benefit which is very very nice now for the under barrel this is going to be the last attachment you want to have the bruin heavy support grip unlocked this is going to be completely smoothing out the recoil pattern, giving the M13B a very easy to control recoil. So you guys can literally go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing. And that is incredibly, incredibly rare for a Modern Warfare 2 weapon. Now for the secondary on this class up, what you're going to be seeing on a lot of my builds is going to be the Core 45. The Core 45 is disgusting, especially if you put on the conversion kit, which is going to be transforming this into pretty much a submachine gun. Now to go ahead and help this out even more, we are going to run a magazine and the 40 round drum is going to be mandatory. The fire rate is going to be increased. Now we are going to rock an under barrel and I do recommend running the SL Skeletal Vertical just so we can go ahead and control that recoil a lot better and also take advantage of close range benefits. As you guys can see here, we have increased aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed. For the muzzle, we are going to be rocking the Colossus Suppressor. We're going to use the XS version so we can go and take advantage of more recoil control, which is going to be very important, especially if you get into a medium range engagement and your primary is out of ammo. And then finally, because we do have the conversion kit on this build, we can rock a stock and the XRK dynamic precision stock is going to be bumping up that recoil control. As you guys can see here, once you jump into the firing range, this is going to be a very easy to use SMG. The more you kind of press the trigger, the faster the fire rate becomes. And this thing is going to be destroying at any and all ranges, especially close range. Now, from in the build, I recommend you guys running the munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, bone conduction headset to your footsteps and gunfire a lot easier, as well as ghosts to keep you off the radar. And obviously for the vest, you do want to rock the CCT comms vest. If you don't know why, this is why. It's going to be giving you a 24-7 UAV, so you can essentially know where everybody is at. Every time you kill somebody, run over their body, they're going to be dropping a beacon. You just run over that, and you're going to get a vicinity kind of alert if somebody is around you. And because the spawns are so bad, somebody is always around you this is going to be a disgusting setup the m13b is a phenomenal weapon to use in modern for three and hell it's a modern for two gun now for the next weapon we're taking a look at the tempest razorback this is pretty interesting because the razorback was a good weapon in modern for two but it was never hard meta here in modern for three it is surprisingly effective now for the first attachment, I do recommend you rocking the 60 round magazine on this assault rifle. As a crazy fast fire rate, we're going to need all the ammo we can get. Now we're skipping over the rear grips, we're skipping over the combs, we're also skipping over the stocks, but we are going to rock an optic and definitely go ahead and equip the Mark III Reflector. This is going to be a great attachment on every single assault rifle that comes from Modern for 2 and honestly Modern for 3, very easy to use at any and all ranges, giving us a crystal clear picture. Now the laser is going to be skipped, we don't need any help from here, but we are going to rock a barrel and we are going to be running the 16 inch tanker V, which is going to be bumping up that recoil control and also long range combat effectiveness. 
for the muzzle we are gonna rock the vt7 spirit fire again another great attachment that takes off the radar and also increases our long range performance this is gonna be a great choice for the tempest razorback and then finally for the underbarrel we are gonna rock the dm proto grip this is gonna be a good attachment on this weapon specifically smoothing out that recoil pattern which is going to be very very helpful especially at those medium to longer ranges once you jump in the fire range you're going to see this class setup is going to be good the ads speed is going to be slightly slower but as you guys can see here the recoil control is going to be very manageable it's going to have that kind of straight up vertical kick kind of like how the og famas was from modern warfare 3 now, if you cannot control the recoil with this specific class setup, I do recommend swapping out that magazine and you can go to the stock and you are going to be running the OPR threat, which is going to be giving us additional recoil control. Obviously, we only have a 30 round magazine, but as you guys can see here, it's going to be a little bit easier to use. The recoil is just literally going to be vertical, no type of, you know, horizontal slant. So definitely going to help you out at those longer ranges now for the remainder we are going to be rocking the core 45 again same exact class that with the conversion kit and do not forget to run munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers focus on the headset ghost tv camo as well as the comms vest to go ahead and give you an idea where people are at on the map for class setup number three we are taking a look at a tried and true veteran the m4 definitely a solid assault rifle here in modern warfare 3 as well now we're skipping over the rear grips these are not going to help us out but we are going to rock a stock and the demo precision elite factory is going to be a great choice bumping up that recoil control now for the optics i do still recommend you guys rocking the mark the reflector this is going to be a universal attachment on all of the ars you can run a zoomed optic but in all reality the mark three is going to be working at any and all ranges now we're not running a laser these are completely irrelevant but we are going to rock a barrel and we are going to be running the high tower 20 inch barrel to go ahead and increase that long range potential obviously giving us that recoil control as well as damage range now for the muzzle again the vt7 spirit fire speaks for itself taking us off the radar and also helping us out at longer ranges now for the underbarrel instead of rocking the bruin heavy support grip we are going to be actually running a different attachment that i've actually been running on a lot of modern warfare 3 weapons specifically smgs and that's going to be the Kamira ryan 03 vertical grip which is going to be drastically improving that gun kick as well as recoil control and we definitely need that on the m4 now once you jump into the firing range you're going to see here this class setup even though we have literally nothing but recoil controlling attachments it's still going to have a respectable ads and you're going to be able to take people out at longer ranges which is going to be super important the thing about these modern for two guns is you're going to have to build them for recoil control because they do have the vertical and as well as the visual recoil that a lot of the modern warfare 3 weapons don't so you're gonna have to compensate there now for in this setup again we are gonna be rocking the core 45 the same exact class with the conversion kit and we are using the munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone size and headset as well as ghost to keep us off the radar and then we do have the comms vest again which is gonna be working fantastic if you're trying to figure out what people are at on the map now we are finally getting into some smgs and the iso 9 millimeter is nasty here in modern for three this is a nice replacement for the wsp swarm now speaking of just max ammo type of submachine guns we are going to start off with the magazine and the 50 round drum is mandatory on this submachine gun the fire rate is insane we're not running a rear grip but we are going to rock a stock and the demo fade tack is going to be perfect bumping up that close range handling with that increased aim walking speed as well as sprint speed the optics are questionable on this weapon so nothing other than the mark the reflector is going to be a great choice with this submachine gun giving us a very clean optic to use at any and all ranges if we're not running a laser this weapon already has close range locked in and we actually are going to be skipping over the barrel that's the nice thing about the iso 9 millimeter you don't have to use a barrel unlike the wsp swarm now for the muzzle we are just going to rock the shadow strike suppressor s just take us off the radar we don't need any recoil control which is also a huge positive something that the wsp swarm definitely needs and then finally for the under barrel you do have two choices here you can either rock the Camira ryan 03 vertical or the sl skeletal vertical grip both of these are good options just to go ahead and give us a little bit more just ability to run and gun we are going to rock the vertical and what you're going to be seeing here is a setup that has a really really quick ads 
also very controllable recoil, something that the WSP Swarm does lack. This is a great class if you're looking for, like I said, a replacement submachine gun. For the main of the build, again, we are going to be rocking that Core 45, same exact class setup. We do have a munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, focus on headset, ghost tv camo as well as the comms vest definitely don't sleep on the iso 9 millimeter i know it really wasn't hard meta in modern for 2 but this thing is really packing a punch here in modern warfare 3 and finally for the last class we are taking a look at the good old mp7 man the vel 46 is still a nasty choice here at modern for 3 let's go ahead and build this class now we actually are going to rock a rear grip here and we are going to be rocking that zlr combat grip to bump up that recoil control definitely a great attachment on the submachine gun now we actually are going to be going ahead and helping this out even more with the assault 60 stock this is going to be a good choice because we are going to be needing some more gun kick as well as recoil control with this fast firing submachine gun this is going to be good if you are trying to use an smg at medium ranges now obviously the iron sights are amazing the optic is going to be skipped luckily we are skipping over the laser as well but we are going to rock a barrel and i do recommend you rocking the lockman dart here just to go ahead and give us an additional bump to that recoil bullet velocity and gun kick control definitely a nice attachment on this submachine gun now because we have so many recoil controlling attachments we don't need to run them anymore under the muzzle category so all we're going to do is rock that child sack suppressor which is going to be taking us off the radar that's all we need a massive w that gives us zero cons and then finally for the under barrel we are going to be rocking a foregrip here i do recommend you guys rocking the chimera ryan 03 instead of the sl skeletal that's going to be a good choice because we need a little bit more recoil control under the under barrel category once you go ahead and jump into the firing range you're going to see here that this setup even though we have a lot of recoil controlling attachments it's going to have respectable ads and obviously it is going to be controllable at those medium ranges definitely a nice submachine gun here again something you can mix it up with and shake up the meta and then finally we are going to be rocking that core 45 same exact class munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers focusing a headset to hear footsteps and gunfire and ghost tv camo to keep us off the radar and then obviously we do have on the comms vest which should be giving us a 24 7 uav every time you run over a body these are going to be the top five best modern warfare 2 guns to use right now here in modern warfare 3 if there are two class tips i want you to check out immediately give the m13b a go this gun is better in this game than it was in mono for two and i also want you to go ahead and give the iso 9 millimeter a try if you're looking for a submachine gun that you can replace quite literally all of the mono for three guns with if you're kind of tired of using them hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did feel free drop a like of the vid subscribe to the channel turn those notifications if you guys tear it up with these class setups let me know spin your boy ears and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuces